Hello friends. So today is Wednesday of Holy Week. And I gotta be honest with you, just the title of this devotion is making me a little bit tender. So fair warning if I start tearing up a little bit, okay? The title of today's devotion is Breaking His Heart. Matthew 26, 48 and 49 say this. Now the betrayer had given them a sign saying, the one I will kiss is the man arrest him. At once, he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Patrick, what are you doing? Mason yelled as they played the game of risk at my kitchen table. I thought we had an alliance. Why are you attacking my territories now? Patrick shrugged his shoulders and said, We did have an alliance, but it's not benefiting me anymore. If I want to win, I have to break our agreement. It was only a game, but Mason's feelings were still hurt. He trusted Patrick. Patrick had betrayed him, and that trust so that he could win the game. Imagine how Jesus must have felt when he was betrayed by Judas. For the mere price of 30 pieces of silver, Judas led the soldiers to where Jesus was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. There, he kissed Jesus on the cheek, a signal telling soldiers to arrest him. Let's pray. Dear God, show us that every time we break a promise, it's as if we're betraying you. Give us strength and courage to keep our promises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ooh, that's a powerful reminder, isn't it? Ultimately, when we break a promise with someone else, we're also breaking a promise that we made, you know, before God. Um, because if it hurts their feelings, if it hurts their heart, if it hurts our trust between us and another person, it's also hurting that too, isn't it? It sure is. Okay, so now here is our challenge. Stand on a chair and drop a raw egg into the kitchen sink. What happens? And how does this relate? Hmm. Good thing to talk about with your family today, for sure. Well, I love you so much, my friends, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.